Hi guys, it's getting really hot in my kitchen right now. I'm making a very common dish that uh, you'll find in any zizha store. It's called salted fish fried rice. Now, I am not sure about the origin of this dish or who invented it, but uh, in Mandarin, it's called xian uh, yu chao fan. In Cantonese, it's called ham yu chao fan. In Hokkien, it's called giam hu cha peng. In Hakka, it's called ham ng chao fan. In Malay, it will be called nasi goreng ikan asin. In Thai, it would be called uh, khao pat la kem. Well, uh, I still don't know what's the origin of this dish, but uh, you don't really need to speak so many languages to prepare it. So let's get on with it without further ado. Right, first let me show you my salted fish. I've cut them into small pieces like that using a pair of scissors. Now turn on the heat. And then I get some oil inside. How much cuttlefish, how much oil, that will depend on how much rice you're gonna uh, fry. So it's all by estimation over here. You can see how much rice I use later on and then you know decide how much uh, salted fish you're gonna use. So salted fish should be the only uh, flavouring agent that I'm using here. Apart from the pepper of course, I won't be adding any salt or any sauce. So I'll just um, fry the salted fish. Okay, so in goes my pepper now. I uh, need quite a bit of it. Um, actually, the ball here is very tiny, so the pepper is very fine. So I need to uh, grind a bit more. Just keep frying. It takes a while for the uh, salted fish to lose its uh, fishy smell and uh, get a little bit crispy so by frying you are getting rid of the fishy smell and also making it a bit crispy it takes quite a while but i think we are almost ready for our eggs now so i'm pushing the salted fish to one side and uh, getting my eggs ready okay there it goes I'm putting in five eggs for this amount of rice you can see the amount of rice that I'll be uh, frying later on Okay, last egg. Okay, next I'm gonna scramble the eggs a bit. Okay, I'm gonna keep frying and keep scrambling until I get a nice granular kind of a texture. So I don't want my eggs to be in lumps. I want it to be fine and granular and mixed with the rice. So this is how I do it. The next ingredient is of course our rice and uh, this is the amount of rice that I'm putting in enough for uh, four to five people this is a uh, cooked rice that has been cooled down 
Okay, now I'm gonna mix the rice really well with the other ingredients. See how I press the lumps of rice until they disintegrate. We need to get the grains separate so that uh, the flavor, flavors will mix well. So we don't want any lumps. So I'm pressing down on the lumps, evening everything out. Alright, our next ingredient, we're going to get it ready, will be our bean sprouts. Just dump all of it in. And uh, note that when you, when you add in the bean sprouts, you're going to add a little bit of moisture to it. Make sure the bean sprouts are pretty dry when you, you know, put them in. You want it to be dry, you don't want uh, your fried rice to be wet. So try to have as li little moisture as possible. As you fry the bean sprouts, uh, there'll be, there's going to be some moisture, but uh, that, that's quite all right for this amount of bean sprouts. It won't really wet the, the dish. So this is fine. So we'll just fry it nicely until the bean sprouts are cooked. Okay, let's take a closer view. Um, everything is still on high heat, so we want it to really cook well. The so-called wok pay actually comes from, you know, slightly caramelizing or even uh, burning the uh, ingredients a bit yeah, at high temperature. So uh, when you get that kind of effect, it will taste like uh, what you something that's professionally cooked. Toss it around, mix it around really well. And this is almost ready actually. And it's done. Salted fish fried rice. Hope you like it. <laughs>